Hello and welcome to the Onside Kick. Ricky Widmer here along with Dave Oster. And we're here to recap the first round series between the Oklahoma City Thunder and the Dallas Mavericks. The first two games were relatively close. Game one was a one point win for the Thunder. Game two was a three point win. Then in Dallas, game three, the Thunder blew the Mavs out. Then in game four, the Oklahoma City Thunder come back when they were down and ended up pulling out the win. James Harden having 29 points of his own in the Game 4 sweeping of the Mavs. And Dave, when we did the preview of this series, we had a viewer comment. Yeah. And at the end of his comment, he said, Mavs in 6, talk to y'all next week. That viewer was Yo Next Door Neighbor. What do you got to say to Yo Next Door Neighbor out there? I'd say there was no chance this was going to 6. Uh, no offense, I The first few games could have gone either way, okay? I'll give you that. They were close. But the Mavs really put a lot of pressure on themselves. Game three, uh, they were quoted saying, you know, this game three is our game seven. And they just got blown out of the water. A little funny thing, you know, they tried to blue out in their stadium except the Thunder were wearing blue jerseys. So it was a little funny. But no, they, they got thrashed at home. And then game four, it looked like, okay, the Mavs are going to take one here for sure. Up big, and they just threw away the lead. Harden, I mean, this, this guy, sixth man of the year. Coming off the bench, uh, making his own shots, making opportunities for everybody else out there, and he just really changed the pace of that game up. Well, when you brought it up, what I was going to bring up myself is I think the key player of this series, it wasn't Kevin Durant, it wasn't Russell Westbrook, it was James Harden. Yeah. Because to me, the reason why I love this Oklahoma City team so much is you know that Kevin Durant is going to show up. Yeah. Russell Westbrook, he'll put up a bunch of shots, but when it comes down to it, he's starting to be that player where he'll, he will look for assists. Yeah. And he had six of them in game four. And then James Harden, that guy who can come off the bench and give you volumes, much like, and this is what the Mavs tried to get in the offseason, but mm -hmm. it didn't work out, what Lamar Odom did for the championship Lakers. Yeah, playing that same role, uh, bringing a big guy off the bench, who can give you a lot of scoring, and I, I, it was really clear that Harden came out on the floor and the mentality of the game would change a little. Because, like you said, we know what to expect out of uh, Durant and out of Westbrook, mm -hmm. but really Harden just took it up a different level this series, and uh, they just didn't have an answer for him on the Mavs. Like, they had Marion trying to guard him, didn't work out too well. I mean, they're switching Dirk even, a couple of plays I saw there. Uh, it was just a really, really strong play, and he, he was, the thing was, he kept taking it to the hoop, like, he was not only just taking the outside jumpers, which, yeah. you know, the Thunder are really known for, was they were putting up points in the paint, Ricky. Mm -hmm. They had 52 points in the paint in game four, and I just think that that might have been a kind of key point in the series as a whole, because one name you didn't even mention, Serge Ibaka, as yeah. I like to call him. I'm referring to Serge Ibaka, if you don't know, but, I mean, you look at Dallas, they have the Jet Terry. Mm -hmm. They have Kid, Dirk. The only big guy they really have that plays in the paint, I mean, Dirk's a power forward, can yeah. be, but he really plays on the outside. Brendan Haywood, their center. You match him up against Ibaka, Ibaka's going to win, I'm going to say, eight times out of ten. I'll, yeah. give, I'll give Haywood two. Ibaka was a great defensive presence. Like like his name says, he comes up with a lot of key blocks. Um even at the end of the game, just a lot of toughness. Uh, mm -hmm. Wouldn't wouldn't let Dirk get an easy lay in uh, in the fourth quarter. Even fouled out for it. Yeah, I mean this guy goes hard all all day. So just a really good team and uh, pretty much what we expected out of the yeah, Thunder here. I, I'm just gonna say this now, like I did in the preview of the series. I think the Thunder are that team that they're like the steak knife, who are just gonna cut through the rest of the. Western Conference, they're just mac and cheese, and I think the only team that will bring the Thunder to a seventh game is if they play the Spurs in the Western Conference Finals. Yeah, but we'll have to wait a while to see that because the Thunder coming up will either play the Lakers or the Nuggets, depending on how that series finishes up this week. Game three of that is on tonight. Four. Game four? four? Game four. I forgot game three was... A few days ago, kind of, I kind of lose numbers of <laughs> games, especially those Western games, because they're on really late yeah. for us on the East Coast. But that does us here on the onside kick. Leave your comments down below. Tell us what you think about the 
Oklahoma City Thunder sweeping the Mavs in four games. And don't forget to like us on Facebook at facebook.com backslash the onside kick.